Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD6. Let's continue with updated chimps. Uh, this series we're uh, starting uh, all the maps again. I will show you an updated strategy now that I have a lot more of experience on the game. Um, without using heroes uh, and going with a very efficient and fast strategy, something that should work, uh, that will work 100% unless in the future Ninja Kiwi nerfs the Avatar of Wrath uh, and uh, yeah, in my opinion the Avatar of Wrath is one of those tarf upgrades that is very very good in chimps and overall it's gonna just uh, make you possible to uh, get the black water uh, very easily and it's gonna minimize RNG that seems something not so important but it's actually quite important um, so here as well when the green blooms come out I will just Place the ninja so that I can target them first. So just uh, placing the ninja is strong, and then in first again. So it's just something to to pop um, loons in round seven, 100 percent. And yeah, so starting with a ninja in this case. So last a couple of games I started with a uh, a druid. In this case, I will start with a ninja. But you can see the disposition of the ninja is perfect pretty much you can attack both the left side uh, but also a little bit of the right side so in case any balloons can sneak past and also in uh, like the rest of the game in case I need to I can attack also like four five six times this right side and so I can pop uh, more balloons and uh, yeah, in this case just upgrading the ninja not placing anything else uh, just upgrading it and in this map there is also water, so um, if you want you can also start with like a submarine, uh, like right here, uh, pretty close to, to the center, and again you you cover a lot of different parts of the of the map. But yeah, in this case I'm just going with a ninja because uh, in that way I have already come the tension and I'm already set up for the rest of the game, so that I just need to place the druids, alchemist, village, and uh, I'm good to go. 301 Ninja, here we go. Um, so in this particular gameplay, uh, the, the strategy I could find so that I could have all the towers under the range of a single village, uh, but at the same time having all the druids in range of one another to exploit to the maximum uh, the populist effect. Um, I will have the village placed right here, and I'm gonna place all the six druids down here. Uh, so the Avatar of Wrath Druid is actually this one right here. So the one that I will place closest to the top left side. So pretty much in the corner. Uh, and then behind it, very very close to it. So as close as you can. Uh, getting a, an Alchemist. Here we go. Uh, strong, uh, 2 zero, zero. So with the Alchemist already, you can pop a Lab Bloons. Uh, but also with the Mexodip. Uh, the druid and the ninja can pop lab balloons when they have the mexodip effect uh, on uh, and here i will just get this druid 011 just to help um, the ninja in these rounds and uh, yeah that's it so right now i will just wait to, to have enough cash to get the ninja 401 And, uh, and then, then slowly, uh, most likely, I will just place some more druids, uh, just to place them. And I'm gonna also sh uh, give you some tips how you can place the druids so that this alchemist will always prioritize. It's very important uh, so that you don't need to place more alchemists to to have already the the druid. In this case, I will want to be buffed. That is this one because it's gonna be the altar of wrath. Um, I want the alchemist to prioritize this droid and I can do so uh, very simply without the need of placing more uh, alchemists just by placing this alchemist super super close to it and then uh, as I place all the other droids around I just need to respect the distance and not I don't place uh, any druid closer to the alchemist than the one I want above so that's a little trick that you can do so in that way you can still place the other druids quite close so you don't need to place them like super far away like 
like this. You can place them even close, but the important thing is that they're not too close. Uh, okay, so Alchemist 300, zero, zero. Uh, Druid now 013. And now, as I said, I will start placing these other Druids. Let me just check out here the village. I can place it correctly, yes. So it's down here. Uh, actually here, what I'm going to do is I will place the village first. And then one zero, so that I I know 100% if these druids will be in range or not of the village. I don't want to really mess it up. I don't want to place any druid uh, out of range of the village. So just a zero, one one druid. Here we go. So for example, this one, you can see that right here, this druid will be super close to the alchemist. But I don't want that. I just want this druid to be close, but not too close. So for example, this position is already enough. It's close to the alchemist, but it's not as close as this one. So in this way, the alchemist is still prioritizing the druid that I wanna uh, be buffed. And the same goes with this one. So this one right here is super close. And so I will just place it slightly further away. It's not so much the distance uh, so that you can still fit other druids, but is uh, yeah, that way you, you, can, you can just play with it. Right, so that's another druid uh, zero one one, and now here should be the last druid placed uh, in range of the village. Yes, here we go. All right, so it's a little bit uh, difficult to place like all of them in range of the village, but uh, yeah, you can see that six total, so that's perfect. Alchemist four zero zero right off. Why not? And now we'll just. Get all of these druids 0, 1, 3. And then preparing to get them at 0, 1, 4. Uh, so you can see that all these druids are placed exactly like the ninja. I like this position because it's going to allow me to, uh, to have these druids attack both the left side, right here, and also the right side. So in case any balloons can sneak past or something like that, I can always have the druids uh, attacking them and especially the ones closer to the right side may not attack a lot in the left side but they can attack more in the right side uh, village 200 zero, zero. and yeah that's pretty much it so um, you just need to play a little bit with the druids placement because in this case you need to place six um, to stack the popless effect to maximum uh, but yeah, definitely affordable if you can just place the village and you can see the beforehand. Uh, so having already the village with more range so that you don't mess up the druid's placement. And you have all of them under the village. Um, Alright, so here these top two druids, so this one and this one, are the ones being buffed right now by the alchemist for 0, zero. Uh, So are the ones that I will... Uh, upgrade first, uh, 014. Now, uh, village 220, very important camo detention for round 51. And now, uh, as I always do, I will just slowly get all the druids 014, stacking the pop blast, stacking the, the attack speed, stacking it five times on it, every single druid. You can see that every druid is in the range of the other ones. Uh, and yeah, that works. So that's pretty much it for these first uh, 60 rounds. And then for round 63, 76, 78, and in general to help the druids clean up the balloons, uh, the ceramics, and so on, I will get as usual a, a 402 boomerang, and also especially for lead balloons, uh, I will get a boomerang up here. So uh, yeah, there should be enough room somewhere. Even even here, like it's not that important that it's like close to the to the ninja. Because actually here I just wanna get a glue gunner. So first I will just place the glue gunner just to save the spot for later on in the game. Alright, 
right? So I will just save the spot and then I will place the uh, boomerang. Yeah, so, so you can see that if I place the, the glue gunner, then there is almost no room for the boomerang. So yeah, that was a wise decision to place first the, the, um, the glue gunner, save the spot and then place the boomerang. Again, the boomerang uh, is in the follows the same concept, being able to attack both the left and the right side. But I particularly like this position because the boomerang is with the ninja like one of the closest towers to the balloons. So it will pop that balloons almost right off so that I can exploit the druid's damage as well. And uh, that's it. So this should be plenty uh, of, uh, of damage to survive. So right now we'll just wait until I can have enough cash to get the Avatar of Wrath. So it's a pretty standard, all these maps are beginner ones, so they're uh, quite easy. Um, but yeah, I still find it pretty challenging, uh, always finding a way to, to have all the druids in range of one another and all the towers under the range of a single village. That's always uh, a little bit challenging. And as you can see, the ceramic rushes around 63 with the boomerang are a piece of cake. So that means that also uh, round 76 and 78 will be quite easy. Uh, and yeah, so the druids stacking already each other's attack speed means that uh, their damage is not that bad and that's why I got all of them 0, 1, 4. So also having 8 thorns instead of 5. Uh, so this is the strategy that I was talking about earlier at the very beginning of the video is the strategy that in my opinion is like it's the fastest and the most reliable one uh, so you will not really uh, it will not depend on RNG or it's gonna depend on RNG minimally and so everyone can follow it and uh, it works for for everyone So right here, it's just waiting, really, waiting to uh, to pop the balloons, get through the rounds. I don't fear any particular round. I'm just curious to see, as always, round 75 with uh, um, the double BFBs. Uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, you can see down here in the left side, you can see like the boomerang uh, bouncing between like the balloons, and see how much damage the boomerang is actually doing just the boomerang and the ninja are just melting all these uh, rainbows and uh, now here considering there is water uh, I will also um, use the uh, 0, 4, 0 sub so the first rec capability for the very very end for the BAD so that I can uh, I can pop it even faster all right so you can see that there are no problems like other than in round 63 no balloons are actually able to even sneak through the left to the central portion of the map I just uh, destroyed them all before uh, yeah, I'll, I just want to see round 75. Probably in that round, some balloons are going to be able to push through. And I will destroy them in the right side of the map. Yeah, just uh, 20k more to have the Avatar of Wrath. Yeah, 40, 48.6, so yeah. 20k more. Alright, let's see now this double stack BFPs. Yeah, you can see that definitely some balloons are were popped uh, in the right side. 
uh, round 76, the regrow uh, ceramic rush, really easy. Also the village uh, zero, the first upgrade in the central path of the of the village. Also is uh, something that prevents regrow balloons from regrowing when the balloons are in range of the village. So that's something like uh, heart of oak, but only uh, when the balloons are in range of the village. So that's also something that you can use to don't let regrow balloons uh, be a problem in round 76. First ceramic rush round 78 also very very easy. Uh, this boomerang is just uh, uh, melting really the ceramics and all those balloons when they're grouped because they're very very close to one another the, the boomerang just uh, ricochets from one to the other one. And yeah, here we go. So, um, yeah, round 79 now should be quite easy as well. Round 80 um, should have no problems. I have all these druids as well covering the right side. So, even if uh, I will pop the last balloons in the right side, I should be able to do so without any big problems. As always, I just need like 2k more to afford the Avatar of Wrath. So that's why I can't get it before round 80. But yeah, the Zoom I got as well is quite slow, so I don't I don't really uh, I'm afraid of anything here. Yeah, the druid stacking attack speed as they are popping the balloons. And uh, yeah, here we go. So, as I said, a lot of balloons stacked up here, but then the boomerang with all the attacks put from the druids just was enough to destroy them all. And here, as always, getting the Outer of Wrath in round 81. Let's just get Halovoke just in case, why not? Uh, Alchemist 402. And uh, I have already placed the boom, the glue gunner, so let's just get it 0 to 3 in strong. So let's add something like a CC to start throwing down mobs, to start giving more time for my my towers to to, to pop all the other balloons. And yeah, this glue gunner. Yeah, sometimes it's gonna even glue the balloons and it's gonna slow them down before they're even in range of the Outer of Wrath, especially like ceramics. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that is gonna just change a lot. Uh, here, yeah, I just wanna play some 0 3 2 Alchemists to start applying the concussion, to start making my class balloons explode. So, as always, getting two of them. So that you can stack the, the concussions. Alright, here we go. Uh, then next, I uh, uh, will get the village 230 MIB so that I'm already uh, prepared for DDTs. Yeah, very very nice. The alchemist just uh, applying the concussion to pretty much all map class balloons before they are even attacked. So yeah, that's very nice. Right, here we go. That's the MIB. Um, and I think here, yeah, I have everything set up. I don't really need anything else. Maybe, just maybe, uh, I can just get like one or two more presses up here. Just to like have some again some control on the mob class balloons, slowing them down, and uh, yeah, it's quite a nice idea actually. So let's just get two of them back here. I'm placing them back here and not, for example, here in the front because otherwise I will start knocking mob class balloons backwards before they're even attacked by the outer wrath. So. I don't want to delay any further the, the game. So I will place them instead up here. 
that the Avatar of Wrath uh, should be able to attack them. Um, Alright, and then as I said, I will just, uh, if I can, arrange the village. Uh, oh, it's just slightly it's out of range, or oh, well, whatever, it's the same. Uh, the middle path, so first strike capability for uh, just from 100 to pop the BD even faster, and that should be it. Because with two more presses, I don't even think I need the village uh, 240 with also the ability um, for around uh, for the round for round 99. I will just survive with the more presses. Right, here we go. Let's check it out here, this alchemist. Yeah, it's always the first one that I place. Does not have a lot of pops. Instead, the other one has a lot of pops. It's like this second alchemist that you place stacks the explosions from the first one. So yeah, it's quite weird how it works. All right, right, 97 and 98 should be very easy because they're gonna unlock level three rage of the Altar of Wrath. So that's a ton of damage. Instead, as always, it's quite uh, scary around 99 with the 45 DDTs. But I think right here it should be fine with these two mob presses up here. I don't think you can mob press, you can knock back uh, DDTs, I'm pretty sure. But that, anyway, that's an extra uh, damage on them as well. So, uh, yeah, no, not a lot of problems. Here we go. And now finally, DDT, uh, BAD. So here I will just wait until the last layer is out, then I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I will use the, the ability. Okay, here we go. Oh, I used it too often, uh, too early, and so I wasn't able to pop all the balloons in one go, but yeah, whatever. I hope you enjoyed, see ya, bye bye.